Today's auto fire is sponsored by Miners, a Nestle Professional premium brand. Miners offers a wide range of chef-inspired and chef-friendly gourmet culinary products, including all-natural and gluten-free bases, signature flavor concentrates, classical reductions, and other ready-to-serve-and-eat sauces and gravies, including the new vegan Alfredo. Make it legendary and make it on budget when you make it with Miners. Learn more about Miners products and how it's the brand that's always trusted by chefs at minersfoodservice.com. Welcome back to the Club and Resort Chef Auto Fire, sponsored by Miners, a Nestle professional premium brand. In the hot seat, we have Daniel Borgalt, executive chef of Money Hill in Abita Springs, Louisiana. Thanks for joining us today, chef. How are you? Thank you for having me today. Absolutely. Let's do this. I'm going to ask you five questions. All you have to do is answer quickly and honestly. You ready? I am. If you were famous, what would you be famous for? Sarcasm. <laughs> Ooh. Good. <laughs> yeah. Now, do you mean that seriously or sarcastically? <laughs> no, absolutely. Seriously and sarcastically, I, I'd probably be a stand-up comedian with just, just rapid fire sarcasm back I at the it. audience. Love it. What is at the top of your bucket list? Ooh, skydiving. Mm. Have you, you've, yeah. so you've never? Nope. Um, I had the opportunity once to go with my brother, do a tandem dive and uh, the weather kind of, you know, mess things up and ever since then that's probably been the highest thing on my bucket list ah oh, i hope you get to go someday what is the best prank you've ever pulled <laughs> <laughs> i can't wait to hear the story <laughs> yeah. okay so i i'm uh i walk into my walk-in cooler and i have a wild pig hanging in there so i'm like okay i have to butcher this and skin it butcher it get the bright idea. I've got my hunting clothes because we do everything in the walking cooler. I skin the animal and I drape the skin over me. And then when one of my employees comes walking in, I start chasing around like a wild pig, just grunting at her. At that point, I was sous chef at that time. And the next thing I know that the chef walks in and all he's like, what the hell is going on here? And I can't do anything besides exactly what it looks like. So, <laughs> But yeah, poor Miss Brenda, she, I thought I was going to give her a heart attack. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> oh, okay. If you were arrested with no explanation, what would your friends and friends and family assume you had done? Wow. <laughs> Something with intoxication. You know, that's Fair. the best thing to say. Is it's just like drunk and stupid. <laughs> Right on. <laughs> what is the craziest member request you've ever received? Wow. Um, oh, I once had a bride and groom. They uh, were big hunters. They had trapped the wild pig, raised the wild pig, and then wanted me to slaughter it and roast it for their wedding. Oh. It took it took them three years to raise this pig. It was a very long engagement for them. And, uh, you know, at that point, it was kind of awkward. I was like, man, that's a family pet. You sure yeah. you want to do this? Yep. That's, that was probably the strangest one I've ever had. It was, gonna, turned out delicious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Woof. All right. Last question. What is the worst dish you've ever made? Probably the one worst dish that I uh, ever made was, um, we were doing... Christmas Eve desserts and we substituted out iodized salt for sugar because Ooh, someone had that's brought a big in, mistake. Um, and I, I was not directly responsible but I was on the team that had to do that yeah so 300 desserts all had to be scrapped on Christmas Eve dinner um, yeah. what did you do? Uh, the only thing we could at that point, we, we simply told the guests, unfortunately, we had a, an error in the kitchen and we won't have dessert tonight. Because oh. there, was, there was no recovering from that at all. No, not at that volume. Oh, well, it is what it is. Lesson learned, right? Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll put it that way. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time today, Chef. This was awesome. I appreciate you.